Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, uh, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today. I'll also be setting in for him on Monday, but I'm going to start out the show today with a chart from Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights that he shared with us on Monday. Uh, this is uh, what he's referring to as a bear market rally and that it had peaked. If you'll notice this chart very closely, folks, remember this is technical analysis this isn't fundamentals, but you can see here that those two little red circles, that means that we left an island reversal up there. It's one of the most bearish patterns that you can get in all of technical analysis. Now, should we get above that, uh, that means that this is no good and we're going to go a whole lot higher. But right now, that's what's happened. So far today, uh, we're trying to make a 382 retracement in the E-mini S&P at 4190. So far, the high has been 4186. The Dow Jones is uh, behind it a little bit, but not too far behind. And the NASDAQ is also pretty much uh, spot on. But that's the 382, and it's taken two days, Wednesday, Thursday, to get there, maybe even Friday, maybe even next week. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, that's what we're looking at here uh, in the market to see what's going on. I'm going to be covering some metals here uh, just a little bit later, but I wanted to cover a few things that I think, uh, I think they're relatively important because we don't see these types of things too often. I wanted to show you um, a really vivid explanation of what that three drive pattern is. And if we look at the price of uh, Microsoft here, you'll see uh, we went right up uh, to the 50% uh, retracement spot on and then the market gap down, leaving that big island reversal. Folks, the reason why that's so very important is because the fact that um, everybody that bought it over the last eight days now has a loss. And that's not usually a good thing, but uh, it can easily reverse, get a lot stronger and go higher. We could certainly do that without any trouble at all. But right now, that's not what's happening. So we got to do just one thing at a time as we look at these charts that I'm going to be showing you here today. Now, I always talk about, oh, we have to share a really great story. One of our New listeners had his first experience with the 135 pattern today with the stock of CRM. Boy, if this would ever uh, make it to the uh, textbook, this would be it. Look at this, folks. It opens at the it opens at the 78 percent level down there at 161. Opening price opens right there at 786. Man, your risk there is so small. Look at that made. It will, oh, this is a huge move in, in one day. But that is a one three five pattern. There's your one over here on the left. There's your three and there's your five lining up perfectly at the 78% level. And that has had a very, very strong move today. So congrats on that. You hit it absolutely uh, spot on perfectly. And that's what we like to see. We also had another gentleman from Philadelphia, Mr. Jeff called in and talked to us about one of the currencies that he's following, which is the uh, Swiss franc. Hold on one second, I believe. Get this up here, Swiss franc versus the dollar. Get this up here, and we'll be able to see it. It's the 135, but this time the 135 is on the downside. You can see you have the three lower tops in here. There's your 1, 3, and 5, and then the market heads down. 
your your trigger is the first red bar after the market makes that high. In other words, the first time it closes lower, that's where you sell it, and your profit objective is down at this level right here. So that's a one three five pattern on the downside. The one we just saw is a CRM, the stock CRM, and it is a one three five on the upside. It's just the absolute mirror image of that. And that's what we're uh, paying attention to. Now, I know that Tom O'Brien is heavily involved in uh, promoting gold because he has his gold uh, newsletter and stuff. But I wanted to share with you a couple of charts here. First one we're going to look at here is the daily chart for the GDX, which is the gold miner index. Boy, this, this, this thing has had no, no friends, folks. As you can see here, it's been dropping like a rock. We're trying to make a bottom in here. As you can see here, we're making the big ABCD to the downside. We have a little ABCD to the upside. We're basically going sideways, not too much happening. So the first thing I do is looking at that, say, what could be holding it up? So it could be the possibility you know, of a longer-term cycle. So all we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the GDX, and we're going to put it on a long-term basis, which is going to be the weekly and you'll be able to see that this is where we're this is where we're hanging out, folks. We're hanging out on the big ABCD at this level right here. Now we're holding here for now well over 10 weeks. And do you know what the first thing I did when I looked at this chart? It's not breaking lower yet. And this might be a bottom, folks. It could be a major, major bottom in here. As you can see, you have the big A, B, C, D coming in. Just absolutely spot on, and it's not breaking. You see, it has that little tiny bit of a rally, and then it came back to test, but it's not breaking it out yet. So that's it. We had an interesting pattern last night in the in the gold market. I want to share the, the folks with you because of those of you that follow Tom know that he follows the gold uh, minute by minute, and he'll be able to get, I'll give you a pretty good idea of uh, what we're looking at right here, and I think this is it. Nope, that's silver. We'll do silver in just a moment. Here's the gold right here. There's the gold. Here's the gold. We made a 382 retracement in the gold last night off of the high we made just about uh, five or six days ago, and that tells us that this could be the end of it. This was the 382 came in at 1772. The high was 1778. We went all the way down to 1764. I just checked the price, checked the price before I came on the air. We were trading at 17.69, so that's still in the process. You can see we've been going down here for weeks and weeks. You know, there's our first, there we have the big ABCD. We have another 382 retracement up here, and then we have another move down. That's your ABCD to the downside. Then we have a really strong rally. That's the 382 of this other number back in here, folks. And so that's all this market has been doing is making 382 retracements, you know, on the way down. That's a definition of a bear market. And that's what we're basically seeing in the euro. And it's very hard for the U.S., for the gold to rally when the U.S. dollar index is so strong. And folks, if you want to see strength, boy, oh boy, I'm just going to bring this up to you right now. We'll just look at the daily, then we'll look at the weekly. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, 
DRIS Party, Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay we're, okay, we're back, folks. Uh, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. I'll also be setting in for him on Monday. And we were going to have Jeff Huge as our guest on Monday. He will be uh, helping me show some of the wonderful charts that he puts out from his, uh, uh, his service alpha insights. I mean, it's just really good stuff. That first chart we saw of the island reversal in the e -mini, uh, in the S&P cash is, is very, very important. Okay, I've posted charts of both the dollar index daily, daily and weekly. And as you can see, we've been in a tremendous bull market. This market is going to continue until it stops. The objective on this looks like it's at 112 to 113 on the daily, which is, uh, you know, very, very important. But in between, during this time, all the time that these markets are, are jumping around the way that they, they're jumping around, I want to show you just how beautifully harmonic the uh, euro is. I know it's not a stock, but it's the most actively traded thing in the world, folks. About a trillion bucks a day goes through. There's your ABCD pattern. As you can see right there, just absolutely perfect. The line right below it is the 382 line. So you make a beautiful ABCD right near the 382. The market starts down. And, and the fact is, if you'd followed it uh, for the rest of the day, much like we were trying to do when we were watching it today, you'll be able to see that we had a pretty, pretty big correction here in the euro coming down almost exactly where it was supposed to come down. You'll see, and that forms that same pattern that we just saw from our good friend that talked about CRM. There's the one three five pattern coming in right here so pay attention to it this is where the euro is going to make it stand and if it fails we're going to be heading down remember the long-term pattern on this the weekly that we've been watching for a very long time comes in at 95 that's not unusual because 22 years ago here in tucson and all the rest of the world the euro had started trading in 1998 and it was in the midst of a pullback in 2000. It got down to, I believe, 86 was the low. From 86, it went to 160. Believe it or not, folks, that's how much volatility 
that goes on in those markets. Because in 19, in 2007, uh, in March and April of 2007, we were looking at a euro at 160. That's when you went into a, a restaurant in Rome and order a Diet Coke, and it was only nine euros, folks. <laughs> euros, not dollars. That's 12 U.S. dollars. Hello, operator. I moved to water that particular day. Okay, just talking a little bit more about some of these things here, I wanted to give you an idea of why we're at such a critical level here uh, in the stock market. Remember, this is from my perspective. You know, I'm a technician, and this is what I'm looking at. Here's the action that we're seeing here. If you'll remember, if you listen to the radio or uh, belong to the 24-7 or listen to the show, we were looking at being a seller up here last Thursday. Uh, we had a beautiful pattern. Then you had the one three five pattern. As you can see, two days later, it you know, lined up just absolutely perfectly on this hourly chart. Then we dropped all the way down from 43.35 all the way down to 41.10. And 41.10, folks, was exactly one standard deviation down from the high. And that's why it was so very, very important to uh, pay attention to that. And then you can see what's happened now for the last uh, day and a half. We're trying to make it up here to this 382 retracement at 4190. So far, the high has been 4186. The Dow Jones is far behind. It's not doing nearly as well. It could in any moment, of course. But right now, that's what we're seeing here in the E-mini S&P. Now, I know that the Fed is out there today, and they're telling you all the things that are wonderful and good. And, and if you believe any of that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge, but that's neither here nor there. Remember, the bonds have been going down since Hector was a pup, and they finally had a little bit of a bounce today. We came off of that major level we were watching down there, and just a little above, uh, actually, the number for the ABCD came in at at 135.22, our low was 136.04, and we rallied about a point and a half uh, today from a very, very oversold uh, market. And that was telling us that, you know, the Fed is out there trying to, you know, help us, uh, you know, the best way that you possibly can. I, want, I have a question someone just asked about intraday swings in the Dow Jones, and I'll try to answer it with this next slide. I watch 15-minute charts, folks, in their day because it gives you a lot of swings. They're easier to identify the ABCDs as opposed to a 10-minute uh, a chart. Well, not difference between 10 and 15-minute, but you get down to a two-minute chart, too much flutter. But on a 15, look, over a period of a couple hours, you can see some really nice – look at this really nice ABCD at the top. And look at the bottom. There's an, there's an A, B. The market goes exactly to the 3A2 goes all the way down to the 78% level, and then back up again. I mean, that's that's the beauty of the ABCD patterns, folks. They are predictive within nature, but do they work all the time? Nope, but guess what? Nothing else does either. It's all about probability. That's all we're dealing with here is probability, both on the upside and on the downside, main thing. Now, we're going to get into some metals here. We're going to start out with the Dr. Copper today because it's been acting relatively well. We've had a tremendous break in copper from the $5 level. As you can see up in the upper far ABCD pattern right there, there's your ABCD coming off of a major $5 uh, a pound. And look what happens. Down, 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 down. We finally have a really strong rally here over the past three weeks. And where do we go to so far? right at the 382 retracement of the high that we made way back here in March. So that's a very important level. We're at here at 370 in the copper, boys and girls. If we can get copper popping above 370, maybe the world's going to be wonderful and good again, and there's going to be all kinds of building and, and uh, producing all kinds of stuff. But, uh, boy, if it, if, if it fails from here, it tells you maybe the demand for copper – isn't what you might think it is. But remember, since the tw the 22nd of June, we've been up, folks. We've been up for just, well, a month and three days. That's a heck of a rally. We rallied from 312 up to 370. So there's nothing wrong with the you know copper on the bounce. It's had a lot of people that uh, that, that really liked it. So I, I hope that, that helps out a little bit. Someone else asked a question about why I like AB. Well, they know why I like ABCD, but why I like 15-minute. Well, I'll give you a perfect example. Here's one in the crude oil. I just did one 
with the stock index, with the YM. Now, let's take a look at the same pattern. This is the 15-minute on the crude oil. The difference is when you make the ABCD here, the market drops $2,000. With the S&P, it dropped about 750 So you can see the volatility in this is in the crude oil. I mean, lots of action going on in the crude oil. No question about it. It's moving around, rocking and rolling, just like we expect it to do all the time. Remember, we had a beautiful ABCD pattern on this. Since you, uh, I don't get on Tom's show very often, I should bring this up and uh, let you folks uh, take a look at it because it was pretty important that time that we did this. And we'll get it up here in just a moment. And we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we are uh, rallying into the close here, it looks like, the last 25 minutes. Remember that uh, number we're watching is 4190. We're at 41 and 80 something I heard just a second ago. And so we're very close to making that 382 retracement. 4190 might not even hold it, folks. It might go through there like it doesn't even exist. We don't know that, but nobody else does either. Next chart we're going to look at now is we're going to switch over to the precious metals. And we want to talk about silver. We're going to do a daily. Uh, starting out with, and then we're going to move over to the weekly. As you can see here, this daily rally has been quite meager, not even able to make a 3A2 retracer to the high we made back here just about uh, five or six weeks ago. That's not a very good sign as far as a, much of a market rally. 
but we want to look at it on a little bit longer time frame because we've got a chance here uh, over a period of time uh, to maybe get a really big move here uh, in the silver market. So hold on with me one second, and we'll be able to take a look at it here. This is the one I wanted to show you. It's the daily, folks. Hold on one second. That last one I showed you was the weekly. Let's get this up here so you'll be able to see it a little bit easier. This is the daily because uh, we're down into area where we're at pretty good support. This is the, the very large A, B, C, D to the downside. We've completed that, and now we're testing it down here to see whether we're going to hold it or not. That's the, that's the real key. Very similar to what we're looking at in the market for the, uh, with, with, the, with the gold market uh, is the same thing. You know, gold market's hanging in there at the 382, which was 1773. 1768 is last so we're the same thing in gold and silver to see whether they're going to hold these or not now i know today's a fed day because everybody's having fun in jackson hole wyoming and so there'll probably be a lot of uh, you know variations if what happens with these markets uh before the end of the day but that's what we're seeing here today watch those numbers folks very important 4190 in the s p and the E-mini uh, Dow, e Dow Jones is way up there. That's at 20, um, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. I mean, that's way up there. That's another 150 points, uh, 200 points from where we are right now. So that's got to really move just to get up to the 3A2. And believe me, folks, it can do that. There's no question about it. It can really move. We're trading at, what, somewhere around 30, 33, 1, and we could get to 33, 3, you know, without uh, any any heartbeat, without a heartbeat. The high so far in the S&P, uh, last time I checked, was right around 3188. That number is 4190. Uh, and, uh, of course, we're coming into the close, which is uh, going to be, this is summertime, so anything could happen with the markets being, uh, you know, really, really quiet. Okay, let's get back uh, to the precious metals. And one the next one I want to show you is the platinum market here. We'll get this up here. I've already showed you the GDX and why it's so weak. And no wonder, I mean, the platinum miners, you can see, look at these lower tops all the way through here, folks. This last one was an exact 61% of the move right here and 382 off of this one right here. I mean, just spot on. And we dropped well over a hundred and some dollars in platinum just off of that high right there. But we're getting down into some really, really strong support. Uh, in here uh, is the chart showing now I'm showing a, a discrepancy that possibly that we're not uh, we're not showing yes we're okay so that's what we're looking at you'll see that it's holding relatively well right now but anything could happen and it usually does as they say in the trade okay now if you have any questions 877-927-6648 and be more than happy to answer them I've covered that dollar index which I I think is a uh, you know, very, very important one to look at and get these others lined up so we'll be able to see them. Um, I, wa I wanted to show you, what is this? That's not it. Hold on one second here. I wanted to show you natural gas, folks, because if you listen to the news at all, there's a real problem, of course, in Europe, especially Germany and France with natural gas, especially Germany. But look at the action that you have in natural gas. Look at the ABCD pattern here right at the high at the 78% level. Look at that. And it drops five, almost $5,000 down to this level here. And all that was doing was making an A, B, C, D right here. And guess where it went? Went all the way back here. We're trading at 9, 9.30 already. Came all the way back, all the way down here from 9.15. We rallied another $3,000, $8,000 swing like it was not even nothing. This makes pork bellies look sick. When we used to trade pork bellies, that's how they used to trade. It's up and down like that all the time. Anyway, that's what we're watching here in the natural gas. I believe, my prediction is, once we close above $10 in natural gas, we will probably go to 14 or 15. The old high in natural gas many years ago was $17. And remember, they've got prices in natural gas over there in the Isle of Man and the UK and uh, Scotland and Ireland is like four or five times what it is here. I mean, it's really, really, uh, it's really, really tough. Remember, gasoline over there is $10 a gallon. 
as opposed to what, 360 here. Of course, our taxes is not as much as they have. Now, I've been asked to talk just a tiny bit about the cryptocurrencies, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it in context of what I know, which is nothing more than AB equals CD. And here's the uh, first one we get up here. You'll be able to see there's where we are. Uh, we had the high made back here, 68,000. The market broke, makes a perfect ABCD, as you can see right there. Perfect ABCD. That was a 50% retracement. Then the market breaks down. The, the ABCD on this measures to 12. Look at this, folks. The first rally, exactly 382. The second rally here at uh, 25,000. We just hit, I believe, I think that's what we hit, 24, 25,000. That's exactly what we hit again, 382. So this market is still bearish. And if we get much below, you know, 20, 19,000 or 18,000, that's going to tell us that we could be looking at 12,000. So uh, this is not a market for the faint of heart. And, of course, we have, you know, BlackRock is in the business now because they have supported, they're going to be supporting uh, Coinbase. And so that's a positive event. But uh, these things can go and come very, very quickly, as you can see, like we did with the, how, the price of Peloton. You know, they were taking or gave uh, Amazon gave them a, a space for advertising and it was up 10 percent. Next day's down 10 percent. So what the news says and what the news does is two different things. So let's remind ourselves of that for sure. OK, now one other one I want to talk to you about here is Palladium. We hardly ever talk about this, but this is very heavily involved in all electronic stuff, especially anything related to neon and lithium from what I understand. Here again, it's the old CRM chart that we heard earlier. There's your 135 pattern right here. Look how it gaps up today. There's a perfect 135, 135. That's three higher bottoms. That's what it is. The first higher bottom is at the 61% retracement. The second higher bottom is at the 50% retracement. So that's why it's so good. What does that mean? It means you most probably are looking at an A, B, C, D up here at the 50% retracement, up several hundred dollars from where we are right now. I mean, quite a bit. The trouble is, this is not for the faint of heart, folks. I mean, it's tradable, but boy, it is wild, and it has huge margin requirements. So I suggest you... You know, stick with natural gas as opposed to palladium. Palladium is a little too much for just about anybody's plate. So remind ourselves of that, okay? Let's take a little break and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavetto setting in for Tom O'Brien. I posted this uh, old chart from uh, Elliott Wave International showing a uh, possible high around 38,000 in the stock market, and that's pretty much what we got to. What's important about this is that they look at it as expansions, and all of them are related to these numbers that we look at of 1.618 and all these other numbers, pi and some of the others, but that number came in right up there at 38,000. I know, uh, you know, it could be... <laughs> Well, for the first part of the move, anyway, we broke from we broke from 38,000 down to what uh, 30 31,000, and now we've rallied up to 34,000. So what we're doing now is making a a 382 retracement from the low we made on June 24th. Now remember, we were down really big. We went from 41, excuse me, try it again, from 43.35 down to 41.10, which was down one standard deviation. And from that, we've rallied very strongly, and uh, we're up 100. And what? How many points are we up? About uh, 80 points, uh, almost at the 4190 handle, which is the 382 retracement of the move. Now the Nasdaq, remember, is already is at that level right now. The Dow Jones is 150 points below it. That number comes in at 43323. The high has been 43233. So it was 100 points off on the. Uh, Dow Jones, but that that's because the Dow Jones is only, you know, 30 stocks, and they're they're price weighted, folks. They're not cap weighted, so it's not a very fair index. It's of the four indices, the number one is the S and P, the number two is the Russell, number three is the Nasdaq, and number four is the Dow Jones. I mean, that's basically it. And remember, the Nasdaq is basically, you know, 15 stocks, you know, the Fang stocks and a whole bunch of others. So that's why you've got to, you know, select what you're going to trade, you know, and stick with it. I personally don't like trading the NASDAQ. Occasionally I will because it just has a little bit too many hiccups in there. And so what I'd like for you to do is just remember that these things might not necessarily uh, do what you think. Oh, we just made, I just see the limit minder just went off here. We hit the 41, just hit the 382 retracement just now, 4190 in the E-mini S&P. Just absolutely spot on. So we're going to see how this one works out before the end of the day. And then we'll move on uh, to the next one uh, from that level uh, as we keep watching some of these. But we've only got, I think, 12 to 15 minutes, well, 15 minutes to go in the day. But we have hit that 382 retracement that we talked about uh, in the E-mini S&P. The fact is, I'll get it up here. So you, actually, the number is 4194. I misspoke on that one. And I apologize, but let's take a look at it. You'll be able to see it. It's uh, nice and bright. There it is right up there at uh, 4194 is the exact number. I, I had it to, when it made a new high. My limit minder went off to tell me that the market, because I don't get live prices when I'm doing the show like this. It's just too distracting. So all it does is it tells me that a price level has been hit, and we did hit 4190, but 4194 
is the number you know that we're looking at there and we should be able to uh, pick that out you know without uh, too much trouble we got the Dow up a couple hundred points I would assume uh, Nasdaq is up what probably about 350 you know, it's up a couple hundred uh, doing very little and the rest of it is just uh, pretty quiet so that's what we're paying attention to here here tonight as we're looking at some of these things uh, moving on okay now the next thing we want to talk about is the bond market, folks. The bond market is in big trouble. I mean, we've had a tremendous uh, rally up from the 382. We got up to 146. The number that we're looking at on the downside is 132. The Federal Reserve is in trouble. I uh, know no one believes that because what they tell you and what they do are two different things, but interest rates are going higher. There's no other way you can add to it. They are going higher. That's basically the bottom line. And so pay attention to that. Very, very important. And we're almost, uh, I see now, I just uh, popped up to check the prices. We're almost at the exact 382 now. And we just hit it just now. The beeper just went off at uh, 41.94. That's the 382 uh, in the S&P. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know. Probably not. And the reason why is, and the reason why is because it's the end of the day and not many people are there on a, on a summertime day uh, in August. I can promise you that they'll actually, they actually disappear around those times. So let's remind ourselves of that also. Okay, next question someone's asking is about the, um, uh, hold on just a second and I'll get the chart up. And that is about the German DAX. We had Tom Hugard on my program today as a guest. Uh oh, that's not what we want. We want to show, we want to show the Discord day. Hold on a second, get this up here. This shows the German DAX. You can see under a great deal of pressure, had a nice snack back rally, trying to make the 382 retracement, and I believe we'll probably make it tomorrow. And we don't think we made it today because they've already closed over there. But that's what we should be looking for. You can see the small A. B, C, D pattern coming in right at that level. Now, the German DAX is pretty heavily traded because that's all German com companies. But the FTSE, which is uh, from the UK, that, that is mainly foreign stocks, folks. It, it really is. It's, it's, just, it's just totally unbelievable that most of that stuff is all foreign. But it's traded and uh, it's pretty active. Not as active as we see uh, in the uh, Dow Jones and some of the others, but take a look at this. This has had a tremendous move off the bottom, and again, trades beautifully off the numbers, and you'll see it setting right there. There it is right there on the way up. That's pretty much where we stand. So that's what we're watching here, so we'll see what's going on, and we'll go from there right now, and we'll see if that number of 1194 holds. I just noticed that that's what was the high so far, but it's still a bit early in the move, so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening coming up. We've got a break coming up here, 877-927-6648. Uh, on my show tomorrow, on uh, my regular show between uh, 1 and 2, I'm going to have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter uh, as, my guest, as my guest. And uh, that'll be uh, always, always fun to have him on the line, so we'll be able to uh, pay attention to... Uh, what's going on with Stan, and he has a bearish posture in the market, so we're going to see if anything's changed since the last time that we, that we had him on the air. Uh, very, very important. I wanted to share with you the corn market, folks, because the corn has had some, you talk about deflationary tendencies. We've had a really bullish uh, signal in the corn, and yet the market is telling us, you'll notice we went right up to the 78% level, and then today we came down and we take out we took out these lows, folks, from yesterday. Uh, we had, we went up uh, 20 cents, down 20 cents, and down 20 cents. So uh, there are people selling corn. So they're either they're either seeing that the corn is going to be uh, well distributed, or there's just a little better crop coming in than what we might think. But it's still a little bit early, and this has got a long way to go. And remember, this is just a short-term 15-minute chart. Even though it's $1,000 a swing, that's not much in corn during a weather market. That, that's really the case. Hey, we got to take a little break here to pay a few bills. 
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien, and since I don't get his audience very often, I want to post the chart. The same as we started the show, the bear market rally. We just made the 382 retracement just a few minutes ago, folks, at uh, 41.94 in the E-mini S&P. Whether that stops it or not, I don't know. But this is a very bearish pattern because it's an island reversal, one of the most bearish patterns of all. But if it goes above that level, it's no longer bearish, folks. If we get above 43.25 or 43, well, 43.25 will do it. Uh, we're going to go a whole lot higher. Why? I don't know, but it won't make any difference. This pattern will have broken, and that means you're going to be going uh, higher and not lower. But right now, all we've done is make a little 382 retracement off of this. So that's basically what we're seeing as we as we look at this here uh, right now. And uh, we just made a new high at 41.95. So we've taken out the 41.94, and we're going to be closing right on the high today. And that means the Dow is going to be up almost 300, 200 and some in the NASDAQ and 50 some in the S&P. And all is happy in River City. And what we want to do is to make sure that you do something for your neighbors, folks, because there's a lot of folks out there that are not doing very well. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side on Monday. I'll be doing the show for Tom O'Brien. So have a wonderful weekend and may God bless.